Having a content strategy is more than just knowing what you're going to post and all those other important details. It's about knowing what you're going to post and when it's going to happen. So today we're going over how to create a content calendar for your business. Hi, boring business owners, and welcome to my channel. My name is Desiree, and I'm here to help your message get seen in a cluttered newsfeed. If you're looking to learn more about content, social media, and online marketing, make sure that subscribe button below so you don't miss any more videos from this channel. We're gonna help your message get seen in that cluttered newsfeed. I quite possibly have been thinking about making this video for months, but I needed it to be the right time. I needed to make sure that you guys were ready for me to not only share with you this really valuable information, but my favorite, tool for getting it all done. Let me introduce you to the content planner. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite tool for almost all social media marketing because all social media starts with a plan and this is going to help you do it. And it has helped me greatly too. You don't need the actual content planner to put this together, but you are going to need like a journal or a couple pieces of paper and a calendar in order for you to put together an effective content strategy on a month to month basis. So let's just dive into this. What is it that we're going to need to get started with creating a content plan? Well, if you've watched my video about creating a content strategy or creating content at all, you know exactly what the five pieces are that you need to put together a content piece, which includes the who, what, how, when, and where for your business. But what you also need though, is you need an ongoing plan based on a whole month. I encourage you to do this on a month to month basis to give you a really good idea of what you need to accomplish in that month. So let's go to my desk and I'm going to show you what I do in my content planner and that you can do in your own journal or the content planner, which I will include a link down in the description below where you can get your own so that you can see how this whole process works. All right, so here is the content planner. Um, I really like it again because I have like these fun stickers that allow for me to organize my calendar, which I'm going to need, so I'm gonna pull them out. And so my content strategy actually starts the month before I am working. So um, I'm gonna be planning June in here, so I'm gonna reference May. So in May, I use these post-it notes. So again, having an open space to write out your ideas is really important so that you can like brainstorm along the way if you have any notes and things that you have to take care of. What I really like about the content calendar is it allows me to like plan my monthly goals, pay attention to what I have coming up, and any hashtags or collaborations I'm trying to plan, it gives me a place to do that. So I fill in my calendar and I check it off along the way so I know what's going on and then I move next month. So the reason I have my post-it notes here, I, I the reason I do post-it notes versus just writing here is because I can move my post-it notes. Because sometimes I have ideas that I can't use in that month or I just like have so many, I just write them down so they don't leave my brain. And then I can just move them to the next month. So this blue one is the research I have done for what videos I want to do in June. And then this yellow one is my military marketing Monday ideas that I want. So my personal content plan is wrapped around my videos. My videos are what I use as the leader for all of my content for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and um, of course, YouTube. So what I need to do is I like to use lots of different colored pens and highlighters to help me distinguish like, what I'm trying to accomplish through the month. And so it just allows for that like extra visual organization. So I wanna write my goals. So with June, my goals are to get 25 new YouTube subs. Okay. And then let's say automate all of June and July. On my reader is I'm PCSing to Vegas. And then upcoming hashtags are gonna be social media day. And I'm going to social media day Denver. My other upcoming radar is social media day Denver. My collaborations, I don't have any planned for this month. So um, that's why so I'm just gonna do military life. All right, and then this is a great space for if you have any to-dos 
that come up along the way or things that you think of that you need to do when you're doing your next month. So um, I research all the videos I have planned to do. Again, these are ideas I've gotten from other people or that are current um, trending topics. And then I've been accumulating my Military Marketing Monday videos as I think of them. So we go to our next page and it's all blank. So I do need to fill it in. So the first thing I do is I want to fill in my days. The first day of June is Friday. So don't, for this calendar, if you're using this, note that the week starts on Monday, not Sunday. So I have to go to Friday the first and fill it in. And then you always want to make sure that you are filling in your business growth, your monthly theme, your this month you're going to accomplish, and this month I'm not going to. Okay, so it allows you to have that perspective. So, all right. So I know when my videos are going to go out. So I have a video that comes out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for my channel. So I'm using two colors. I'm going to use blue for Military Marketing Monday because that is its own theme. Okay. And then my Wednesday and my Friday are my how-to videos. So then I'm going to go to my, my list here and I'm going to make, these are the videos I have to choose from. So I know that for June I'm doing my branches. So I'm going to cross these off and June is dedicated to military marketing Monday. So this is going to be air force. And then branch video, and then I'm going to do army. Okay, and these are my collaborations for this month. So then I know I'm doing YouTube, so I'm going to share. I am going to use my sticker here to identify which medium this is. Okay. I'm gonna write myself a note about where I'm going to be talking about this. So I need to do a Facebook post, an Instagram post, and a tweet about it. And then I also need to make sure I do an Instagram stories. So I know what I need to do. So green is my action that I have to do. So I highlight it and I make sure that I do that. And I have to do that for each one. When we talk about how to put together the country, we had the objective of like the who, what, where, why, when sort of concept. So we want to make sure that we're keeping this going. So obviously the objective for these is to get people to watch. My call to action is to get people to watch. So what I'm going to do is do a little arrow. So I, the day I post a video, I just announce that I'm doing it. And then the next day, I take a blurb or a sentence or a fact from here, and then I turn it into another post for the next day to get people to watch. So I identify what my call to action is. Watch video, okay. And then I wanna make sure that I have a graphic with fact or quote. And then that's gonna to go to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, okay. So my action step is I have to get that graphic done, okay. And then I have my next day, which is where I have my how-to videos. 
So I reference back to my list of the videos I'm going to do for this month. So for June, so for June 6th, I'm going to do how, uh, how to notifications. So how to Facebook notifications. Okay. And that's what I have to do. And then I know because I have to do a Facebook post, an Instagram post, a Twitter post, and then I need to talk about it in Instagram stories. And then again, these are my action steps. So then I go over to here. So my CTA is to my call to action is to get them to watch and set up notifications. Okay. And then again, I know I have to talk about it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and then I also want to probably do a stories on it. So again, and that's all you do. So you do this for every month and you include what your call to actions are, what you're trying to do. If you're going to have an off day, you can put that there. And then as you go through your week, you want to track your wins of getting people to accomplish things like maybe what was your watch time, things like that. So this is my completed calendar. It really only makes sense to me because it's mine, but hopefully it will help you. So for planning ideas, we want to make sure that we're including a couple of, of things when we're, when we're thinking about our plan. We need to talk about like what month is it? Any deadlines that we have? upcoming events or holidays. Always be aware of the 80-20 rule. So this is where you're sharing, educating, entertaining 80% of the time, and 20% of the time is when you're asking for something from them. And then you want to think about what your goals are for the month and what to-dos you have to do for planning your content. But that's all that you have to do. So plan out your month, know what you're going to be posting every single day, and have a plan for how you are going to distribute your content for your calendar. And that's really it. So now you know. Now you know my secret sauce to getting a content calendar all put together for all the businesses that we work with all on social media. So you have no more excuses, guys. So I'm curious, what is it that you guys are most excited about with creating for your content plan? Let me know in the description down below. If you're looking for a whole year's worth of content marketing ideas, you're gonna to wanna to watch the videos all right here in my playlist. I have a video for every single month of the year that's going to tell you different ideas and topics that you can use when creating your content plan for the month. And if you're still a little unsure of what to do for your content plan for the month, you're going to watch this video right here about what to do for your content strategy and go over the big five to put together your perfect content piece to get the most from it. And like we always say in military life, it is never goodbye. It is see you soon. So until next time, I will see you soon.